Hi, I'm Jake. Another episode of Good Idea, Bad Execution. Well, the car is home. Hasn't been looked at yet. Uh, Son-in-law hasn't shown up yet to look at said car. However, that does not mean that the work does not continue. There's always something to do. Always something to do. Even if it means losing your hair to do it. So, as promised, today's video is a, uh, well, here's the issue. Uh, I gotta get all that shit out of the way so that I can start insulating. And then once I get it insulated, there's my free drywall. There's three sheets there, by the way. And then I got some scrap pieces. Oh, doing the weatherman thing again. Got some scrap here, here, yeah. Doing the weatherman thing again. So anyways, uh, problem being right now is there's just too much crap in here and I gotta move some crap out of here. So, we're just kind of going to set you up here. Hope to God this works. That ain't going to work. That's my belly. That ain't going to work either. That's my boobies. Oh no, I said boobies on YouTube. I'll probably get... Oh wait, I ain't making no damn money on this anyway. So... To hell with YouTube. Well, what am I going to do here? How about this? Woo! No, nope, you ain't going to sit there. Not unless something's sitting on top of you. So, this is going to be kind of a long video. As y'all know, I don't do any edits. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Some bitch. Yeah, if I could find my... Uh, tripod which actually i still think is that little brother's house if i could find my try man hey, it's cold in here if i could find my tripod i actually have a, a, a handy cam i might actually be able to do this on a somewhat better uh plane i guess you might want to say uh, i might be able to do this a little bit better but then again you know i got the, the galaxy 20 here the Note 20. That's what we're using. So, what the hell are you going to do? But that would mean if I did it on the camera, the hand camera, that I'd actually have to put it on a computer and then I would be, uh, I would be inspired to edit. Okay? And, hey, you know what? My hat and my shirt almost match. Anyways, I would be inspired to edit video, and uh, there is a promise that I have made to myself that I would not edit video because it just, <sighs> edited videos, the in my opinion, and that's all it is, my opinion, so do what you want with it. Oh, hey, there's a, there's a sea pillar covered in my Pontiac. But if I get rid of it, he's not going to want that, so... So anyways, um, my opinion is this is basically just raw. This is warts and scars and hair and everything, okay? That's my opinion, and that's all it shall be is my opinion. But as you can see from behind me, the first thing we need to do is get rid of some crap. Or at least take it outside for a while. But if you notice right about there, I got a new toy. Couple of new toys, actually. We got ourselves a Mr. Buddy Heater. Uh, a Mr. Heater, little buddy, buddy, Mr. Heater, buddy. Got a propane heater. Now you're probably wondering, hey Jake, 
why would you get a damn propane heater when you have a perfectly good propane heater right there? And you know what? That's a valid question. <clears throat> Here's my argument. One second. My argument is, I can't hook up this heater until I get all this other crap done. I gotta insulate and I gotta put up the, the fire retardant uh, sheetrock, drywall, whatever the hell you wanna call it. Okay? That being said, it's almost the end of November. I think today is the 25th. So we're a week out from Halloween, okay? Already, it's a little chilly in here. I don't know what it is, but my fingers are, my fingertips are cold. And yes, you could say, well, you're a big fat guy, so you probably exude warmth. And you know what? You'd be right. But, woo! Bite me. So I got a couple of 20 pound tanks outside. I gotta get that 100 pound filled, but the 100 pound right now is not gonna get filled until all of this other stuff is complete because the 100 pound tank is going for that one. That's dedicated for that sucker there. The two 20 pounders that I got outside warming up in the sun are gonna get hooked to this, which is our buddy, Mr. Heater Buddy. Heater, buddy, buddy, heater, heater, uh, connector to this. Let's get this damn thing out of here. All right, let's get some better leverage. Safety first, always retract your damn uh, utility knives, boys and girls. I also have a wood stove fan on the way. Ordered it on Amazon on Saturday. Unfortunately, the company that sold it to me, they couldn't uh, overnight it or next day in or anything like that, but. I'm getting it shipped to me for nothing, so I'm not worried too terribly much about it. So as you can see, we got a little handle here. Does it come, does it come up all the way? No, it does not come up. It doesn't sit all the way up. That's fine, no big deal. We got it off. We got a pilot. We got a high, a low and a high. Here is where your tank is supposed to go. This is supposed to take those green one pound tanks. Okay, boys and girls? That being said, they make an adapter. Here's the adapter. Do I even need a knife? I don't think I need a knife. Nope, just had to get my fingers in there. Okay. The adapter comes with a regulator. Regulators! Mount up! That's how old I am. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, what I just said, I am that old. I am Warren G. Old. <laughs> You know, I'll be honest with you folks, this propane stuff scares the piss out of me. You know, 
flammable explosive gas and all is just uh, not really something I want to dick around with a whole hell of a lot. Warning, warning. No, I'm kidding. I've read that about 300 times on other propane items that I have. Okay, well, how the hell does this work then? This goes in the tank, and this is supposed to go in there, but it ain't going in there. Son of a motherless goat! Let's see if I got an adapter of some sort. I'll be right back. Now, where in God's name did I put all that crap? Hey! Seek and ye shall find. And we even got a little tape. Actually, I think that's what I need. But I'm not sure. Okay, so here's my problem. I know this end goes into the tank. Okay. I got a female end here. And before somebody says anything about being, I don't know, some sort of phobic, whatever, shut up. Anyways, I got the same end on this sucker over here, but what I want to do it looks straight, but it ain't going in. Gosh darn it! All right, all right, all right. Let's see what else we got here to play with. still need an adapter for. That won't do jack shit. Oh, wait a minute. No, nope, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work neither. You know, I bought this damn thing. In the hopes that I would be able to heat my shop with no issues. Apparently, all I got when trying to heat this shop are nothing but issues. And it's stuff like this that drives me up a wall. You can't make this shit easy for anybody, okay? It just pisses me off to no freaking head. I got a female threaded in here. It looks like one inch, maybe three quarters. See that? It does rotate, so you know, like that. So your bottle plugs in. And like I said, it's made for a bottle. But it's a female end. And you've already seen what I have here. Is that going? Because that don't go in there. This does not go in here. 
That was going to be the next thing I tried. I just want some warmth in here so I can do what I'm going to do without freezing my twig and berries, my cash and prizes. <sighs> and life just doesn't seem to want to work with me. I had the same problem because I was going to hook that sucker up. That ventless there. I was going to hook it up when I got it because I got it for Christmas last year. I've had the thing for damn near a year. And you know what? Hasn't seen a drop of propane through it yet. Why? Because I can't find the right goddamn connectors to make this crap work. And it, it really, you have no idea how maddening, how frustrating this shit is. Unless you have done it. I got totes in the way. So, I was at my local Menards a while ago. And I bought this whole big, uh, this big thing. This big thing full of different bits and bobs that I was going to need to uh, connect propane stuff together. Yeah. That's my staple gun. Okay. I'm going to need that, but we'll leave that over there. <sighs> yeah, this is what I bought. Says it is for, I mean, see if I got a freaking ventless propane heater? Right there. That's why I bought the damn thing. <clears throat> and as you can see from all the empty spaces, it came with all those other bits and bobs and hookups and shit. And... Hey, I left a hat out here. <coughs> that being said, nothing seems to fit together. Nothing seems to work. I'm not terribly happy. It's stuff like this that just frustrates me to absolutely no end. It really does. One, because I don't know enough about it to... Uh, I know just enough about it to be scary, okay? To be scared of it, excuse me, that's what I should say. I know just enough about it to be scared of it, and that just don't want to... Oh, there we go, okay. I have a valve. I have this thing. I have this coupler, which doesn't fit, because, you know, science, or whatever. I have other couplers. That I have no I no idea. What else we have in here? It's like Christmas. Oh, I have this coupler, which I had hoped would go in here, and it does, but only about a thread. And then it stops. Which tells me that either these threads are too narrow and these are too wide or something's getting crossed even on the other side. See? It just doesn't doesn't want to move. And I'd like you know I'm trying to dry fit all this stuff before I go balls deep and you know and this one here is flanged on the end so it ain't gonna fit see no fit no go so I I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing and honestly Half the time, that's my biggest problem. Is that I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. I 
I have spent 20 minutes dicking around with this now, obviously. And let's call it 15. We had a five minute intro. I am completely, completely clueless. As to what any of this stuff does. I really, really am. And like I said, I am I know just enough that it scares the shit out of me. And it's frustrating and it's maddening and it's enough to make a guy wanna just chuck this shit out of a window. So yeah, I don't I don't know how any of this crap goes together. I really don't. And it's just... What is this for? What is this for? And why doesn't this just fit into there? I don't know. I don't know. That did something, but what? I don't know. Is this... No. And can I even fit this in there? Because I mean, I know this end goes on. It's supposed to go on the tank. At least I believe this end. This end here is supposed to go on the tank. So that would mean that nothing don't doesn't doesn't do a damn thing. So uh, yeah, I got all these friggin' bits and bobs and. No idea what to do with a damn bit of any of them. <sighs> Normally this would be the time where I would get mad and just start throwing things. But, you know, I have learned in my 43 years that doesn't get anybody anywhere. It never has. So there's really no point in doing it. So I think I'm going to have to spend more friggin' money at my uh, local hardware store and figure out exactly what in God's name I need to do here. Because I got no clue, folks. So, that being said, I guess uh, I'm going to start insulating in the frickin' cold. Yeah. On that note, we love you. Take care of each other. We'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, by the next time, I'll have this shit figured out. Because. <sighs> yeah. Later, guys. Bye.